evening. Welcome back for another stream. How are you getting on? Uh, tonight we're going to be playing a bit more Disco Elysium. Uh, we're back with that. Also back with a much better internet connection, by the way. Um, which means we can up the quality a little bit. Let's have a let's have 1080p. Why not? I hope you like that. I'm sitting on something really uncomfortable. Give me one second. But also because of that, my t my terrible connection from the other day, which didn't allow me to look at more things from the 500 weirdest and wackiest websites. Uh, I can actually do that now. So I've got a couple of them loaded up just to kind of show you. Some silly little things. See what you think about these. They're probably not that much fun. I'll bring it up in just a sec. There we go. Right, so found a couple of different sites. This one is called Deb and Jen's Land of Useless Facts. It's literally a page full of supposedly useless facts. And I'm sorry, but with this white screen, it really uh, washes me out. Um, but yeah, so this this was a website from... Well, this is actually... I had to go back to uh, 1999 to load the page here. And I'm sure if you went further forward a little bit, you could load it up a bit better too. Um, but yeah, so this... The useless fact of the day on the 27th of April, 1999, was that the last time American green cards were actually green was 1964. Is that still true today? I don't know. Uh, what else have we got? Stuff that's interesting. Uh, doo -doo -doo. The world's oldest active parliamentary bodies, the Icelandic Althing, which first met before the year 1000. I had to look into that because I remember. I seem to remember that the Icelandic people overthrew their government recently, but it looks like they did still keep mostly that same sort of uh, parliamentary sort of process, I think. Uh, this was interesting that the oldest weapon still in use in the American military arsenal is the Mamluk hilt sword. It's uh, carried by apparently non-commissioned officers, is what I've read. Uh, non-commissioned officers, when they reach the rank of corporal, they're given a, one of these swords. It's like a curved, it's like a long kind of sword with a curved end. Um, yeah, uh, they've been having them since 1801, apparently. Um... Some of these are more interesting than others, perhaps. So the Vatican was the only political entity to grant recognition to the Confederate States of America. Yeah, let's uh, let's pay attention to that, shall we? Pay attention to the kind of people we're talking about. Greek national anthem is 158 verses. Uh, November 19th, 1999 was the last date before January the 1st, 3111, where all the digits in the date are odd. Who come, who, who looks into these things, do you think? Uh, so some of these are, I mean, there are 2,598,960 possible hands in a five card poker game. I doubt that's changed because they haven't added any more cards since 1999. Um, so we've got America's only statue of Charles Dickens is in Clark Park in Philadelphia. Is it still there? Is it still there? I don't know. Uh, all owls lay white eggs. If you needed to know that, it's there for you to know as well. Uh, but there's a couple of different sites, so that's like uh, useless facts. You know, you could go through that f forever if you want. I'm sure there are existing sites right now that are fully useless facts that don't require you to go back to 1999. But, you know, that's one of the sites I was looking at. Uh, there's this one here. Uh, weird stuff. Dysan's collection of weird stuff. And I was having a look at it, right? I was having a look to see what kind of weird stuff it's talking about. So we've got like this story of the ant and the grasshopper. Uh, the classic version of the story is that the ant works hard in the withering heat all summer long, building his house and laying up supplies for the winter. The grasshopper thinks he's a fool and laughs and dances the summer away. Come winter, the ant is warm and well fed. The grasshopper has no food or shelter, so he dies in the cold. Now, that's a story with a, a moral, I guess. Uh, his moral is not correct, but we'll forget about that. With a moral, I guess, but what's weird about it? You know, his ideas of weird, there, there's a couple of things here, I don't want to look at them to be honest, because they're very much uh, things about, uh, you know, like this, talking about answers to your, to questions your wife says, or how to speak to your, to your, to your wife, to avoid whatever, and there's a lot of them about nagging wives and all this sort of nonsense, right? There are some other ones though, how to keep a healthy level of insanity, and drive other people, basically this is like a clickbait list, look, 
At lunchtime, sit in your parked car and point your hairdryer at passing cars to see if they slow down. Page yourself over the intercom, don't disguise your voice. Insist your email address be xenogoddessoffire at yourcompanyname.com, etc. It, it's one of these things that, it seems like late 90s, early 2000s, on the internet, you know, people did these, they did lists, they did lists of things that they thought were funny, um, but not necessarily were. Notes from an inexperienced chili taster named Frank. Recently I was honoured to be selected as an outstanding famous celebrity in Texas to be a judge at a chili cook-off. Because no one else wanted to do it, also the original person called in sick, I happened to be standing there at the judge's table, asking directions to the beer wagon when the call came. I was assured the chili wouldn't be all that spicy, and they told me I could have free beer during the tasting, so I accepted. The <laughs> Chili one. Mike's Maniac Mobster Monster Chili, because they always have to have a ridiculously long and nonsense name, right? Judge one says it's a little too heavy on tomato. I'm using kick. Judge 2, nice, smooth tomato flavour. Very mild. Frank says, Holy shit, what the hell is this stuff? You could remove dried paint from your driveway with it. it. Took me two beers to put the flames out. Well, that's the worst one. Arthur's afterburner chilli. Smoky with a hint of pork. Slight jalapeno tang. Exciting barbecue flavour. Needs more peppers to be taken seriously. Keep this out of reach of children. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to taste besides pain. That'll wave off two people who wanted to give me the Heimlich maneuver. That's a walkie-talkie and three extra beers. When they saw the look on my face, this guy would have been absolutely shit-faced by the end of this. Anyway, that's just ridiculous. But yeah, so somebody made a, a group of sort of weird things, and I thought, we're reading about it, right? I was reading the description that this book gives it. Uh, where is it? So the description this book gives gives this website, and this is the other thing that's kind of, that's kind of ridiculous, right, is... The 25 shortest books ever written. 80 phrases should be on buttons. The 11th commandment. Whose dog is smarter? These are just some of the short articles to be found at this amusing site. And I've looked through bits of it and I honestly don't find that much of it particularly amusing. You know? <laughs> 80 phrases that should be on buttons. Here we go, Luke. Well, this day was a total waste of makeup. Alright, Luke. Make yourself a home. Clean my kitchen. Who are these kids and why are they calling me mum? Don't bother me, I'm living happily ever after. Do I look like a freaking people person? People have these things already. It isn't an office, it's hell with fluorescent lighting. Well, it's an office. <laughs> Started out with nothing and still have most of it left. Pretend to work, they pretend to pay me. It's like bumper stickers, you know? Nonsensical stuff that people thought was funny. And This is uh, a website called Pun of the Day. I was looking at this just to see what, just to see what kind of stuff people were putting through, and 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 you know some of these uh, barely register as puns to me. Time flies like an arrow. Fruit flies like a banana. Yeah, but that's not a pun. And fruit could fly like an apple. I mean, it doesn't have to be a banana, right? He drove his expensive car into a tree and found out how the Mercedes bends. That one's at least a little bit true. A bicycle can't stand on its own because it's too tired. Except it's got except it's got a kickstand, right? Unless well, I suppose it's part of yeah, okay. When a clock's hungry it goes back four seconds. Or it goes back for seconds, I you had to fucking force that one, didn't you? Grenade thrown into a kitchen in France would result in linoleum blown apart. No. <laughs> a boiled egg in the morning is hard to beat. Show me someone in denial and I'll show you a person in Egypt up to their ankles. It's an old one but a good one, right? Local area network in Australia, the land down under. You had to explain it. Afraid it doesn't work. Every calendar's days are numbered. And if you don't pay your exorcist, you get repossessed. Or you could just not get an exorcist. Right, and this one's a site called Total Obscurity. Um, this was a guy who wrote like his own, you know, his feelings about various uh, things that were going on, I guess, in the world. So this is him talking about, uh, like, a... a Again, in 1998, talking about a, a, an on a TV debate, I guess, between George W. Bush and Al Gore. Um, and he talks about how many times they said certain words. Uh, you know, nobody said hunger. Nobody said anything about diseases that were rife at the time. Um, Bush said he would help. Gore mentioned debt nine times. Said he cared seven. Prosperity. 
<laughs> he said it 12 times during this TV debate. Bloody hell. George W. Bush said fuzzy math four times. I'm surprised he was able to say it properly. Missing from the speeches. I'm lying. Yeah, he never said it. That he did coke in college. That his fundraisers are crooked. Well, I mean, that's probably about right, to be honest. People will vote for anybody. Yeah, that's probably true. So basically, uh, and this guy writes, I mean, this is, I was shocked to see a gratuitous and disgusting display of actual fornication while visiting the sea Seattle Aquarium. Was it between two animals? Two seahorses. Like, he was very dis disturbed by two seahorses. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to go and dig further into this book and find some stuff that might be more interesting. Um, but, you know, this bit here, never underestimate the power of stupid people in large groups. That's never been more true. Uh, it's amazing when you catch a spider trap, catching something this big. Has me pretty paranoid now, want to see? No, not really. Big friggin' spider, let's have a look. What is it? We'll make this the last thing and then we'll get into the game, because these four websites I've selected so far aren't particularly interesting. You can't get to it. This is the pro- oh, maybe I can. The, I bet you the image has uh, disappeared to the years, to the ravages of time. Bear in mind, this is a website from 1998. Yeah, the picture has disappeared to the ravages of time, I think. It would be safe to say. Um, and look at this. This was something I thought was interesting, and this was one of the reasons why I actually brought this up. Look, introducing the e-leash. Now, in 1998, um, I had my first mobile phone in 1998. It was very similar to that. But look at this. E-leash is the electronic leash you've been waiting for. Bearing in mind, this was, this was, uh, this was made in 1998. If you've been searching for a way to stay at the beck and call of anyone and everyone on the planet 24 hours a day, the e-leash is for you. Simply purchase the unit, activate an account, and within minutes you'll be completely enslaved. You won't be able to go anywhere without your e-leash, and you will annoy and enrage hundreds of people a day as it rings and beeps and plays music during the most inconvenient times. Use it in restaurants, bars, movie theatres, libraries, buses, and even during important business meetings. But wait, there's more! The e-leash also doubles as a fully functional cellular phone. That's right, you can use this personal... Yeah, I don't really want to go down those road, that road, but, you know... Uh, to make and receive calls anywhere in the world for only hundreds of pennies per minute. Get your e-leash today. After all, there's a whole world waiting out there, or out there waiting to bother you. So that's interesting because, you know, when you think about it, now you see plenty of people who have their mobile phone and they cannot, they cannot get away from it. They're inseparable. And even in 1998, they had an idea that that might be where it was going. Anyway. That's just a few excerpts excerpts from the 500 weirdest and wackiest websites of the year 2000 of course uh nowadays most of those websites would be classed as 500 of the dullest boringest websites maybe not we don't know we haven't seen them all yet we're not going to see them all we're going to see some of them though uh, right let's get the music off and let's get to what we're supposed to be doing which is let's play some disco elysium Let's get the music up. That's about right. The UI, I don't need the UI to click and clack and stuff, but we'll put it there. Voiceover, we want to be higher so we can actually hear what they're saying. And let's load our game. In Martinez. Now remember we were speaking to this woman uh, before, before we finished last time. Whenever it loads. And she gave us some money. I asked her for a bit more than I needed. I didn't ask her for like a huge amount because I thought that was probably a bit ridiculous. Um, what else did I have to talk to? You seem smart. I need someone to give me a lowdown on this reality. Reality. I was wanting to cover this one today. Yes, reality is your side case. That is my side case. Yes. An experimental side case. Uh huh. That's true. Uh, well, I'm, I'm conducting a personal inv investigation into the world I find myself in. Truly curious. <laughs> a sort of philosopher detective. That's quite right. That's exactly what we are. A philosopher detective. My theory is that this query will ultimately converge with our murder investigation. They They're really one and the same. Yeah, Kim doesn't agree with me. A deep synthesis. I'll assist you however I can then. Go ahead. Go ahead and ask. All right. We're in. Okay. I know these all look good, but begin with the first, okay? Begin with the first one, he says. We're in Martinez, baby. Am I saying baby? What's baby all about? Popular among the 50 plus crowd. 
It's a disco holdover. Ah, now he no talks about you. disco a bit, doesn't he? So he's a disco holdover too. <laughs> aren't we all? No, not not all of us. We aren't all. She refers like to disco. Your corresponding ages. Mm-hmm. And what is Mar Martinez? It's like mayonnaise, but made out of someone called Martin, isn't it? Martinez is a district oh, official. Right. A very small district tucked away near the industrial harbour. North of the 881 and Jamrock. What's the 881? You would be excuse for not knowing about it. Yeah, it's probably crap. Say, forgotten even. Yeah. Shell to smithereens during probably. the revolution. It has its charms, just not this time of year. Tell me more about Martinez. I'm not a good ambassador. I've only been here once before. She's not been there. As a teenager. Here very often. Not a lot has changed. Probably not. There are ruins, a terminal, fishing boats, reeds, boys with boxy boys shoulders. Boys with boxy shoulders. As I told you, Martinez used to be a province. A worker's yeah. resort before the city swallowed it and the artillery did its part. Now the reeds are the real star of the show. The reeds. The further down the coast. The reeds. The reed. Take a walk on the wild side. Is that the reed? Take a walk on the wild side. It's not I really see things sea, and then I think, is the it? Bay of Revachol, Wait. And the bay feeds into the ocean. I'm just trying to. I'm just trying to remind myself. It was him, wasn't it? Yeah, it was the reed. It's not really a sea. It's the Bay of Revachol, is it? Yes. We are on an island in an ocean. We're on an island in an ocean. The body of water, the insulin dick. The ins the insulin dick. It sounds like I don't know something that might happen if you've used up all your. No. Known to the early Revolutionaries <laughs> as les immensités bleu, the blue immensities. The blue immensities. Vast. But it's it's a sea. And How can it be multiple immensities? Flowing in and out. Of sight. Sure. What's the name of the island? Caillou. As you already Caillou? Know, that that kid from that cartoon. Pebble. A smoothed over pebble amidst a great blue There's like two cartoon characters that are like really the cracks of the river The kind of characters you don't want you don't want your kids to watch on TV. Which is which is Peppa Pig. Because oh my god. And Caillou I, I seem to remember is one of the also worst uh kids cartoon characters. The kind of characters you you don't really want your kids to watch, to be it honest. It is clear this <laughs> pebble is of enormous value to her. Like and just really aggressively nasty watch. children, it seems like to me. Okay, that's Martinez. What's Revachol? Revachol. Revachol is what you call a city. A city with islands and stuff. Is it, is it not like a country? The great kind. It's a great city. It's a great city. As if it's self-explanatory, beyond patriotism. A fact. What makes Revachol great again? Detective. I mean, wait, they no. Built this city to resolve no, I don't know. Our part in it, at least. Our centuries. Uh-huh. And who built the city? The nations of the Occident. Or migrant workers from Semini. So this is... Il Marat, depending on your creed. Sure, and when did they build it? In the DeLorean century. The DeLorean? They went back in time and did it themselves. They had to, just had to get up to a speed that it was impossible for a DeLorean to get to. Why will it resolve history? They say it's where the terrible questions of our time will be answered. Oh, did, is it? The tensions are highest. Like about this guy in the tree. Lines deepest. Hopefully we'll get some questions answered about this guy in the tree. By that I mean conflicts. Ideological, Ideological conflicts. conflicts. The stuff of men. But why here? Standing on a fertile, why here of all places? Island, able to sustain up to 200 million people in the middle of the Insulindic Ocean. Sure. The world's connective tissue. It's where the money it's is. where the money is, you know. So we're in an unimportant part of an unimportant place. I think it's fair to say so. <laughs> it's the Last least important place. About, about what? Nah. Twenty-two kilometers. There we go. The Twenty-two kilometers from the center of the world. That's the that's that's quite far if you're walking. The bottom floors are in Siakom. Government, Insulindian Mission Command. Okay. Uh, well, let's look at Silence. the sea. She lowers her hand. The water, the light. It's the first it's time seeing the water and the light. First time. Let me just check something. I'm seeing it for the first time, am I? 
There is no recognition. No recognition. Only the immensity of the oh, sea check something. and the cold radiating from it. The sea and the cold. Basically, it's not great. Sorry, I just need to clear some something. That's fine. Now we'll continue. Uh, where are we? Where we are. I have no true. Oh, I've gained a thought. Unfortunately. Jamais vu. We are where we are. I have no true answer to give. This is yeah. one thought you need to complete. I do. Where are I do you? need to complete that because if I've got no idea where I am, I'm going to have some serious this problems working out for the else. I remember something about a lowdown. Yeah, it's this that move that Dilo Brown used to do. I'm sure my memory impaired partner has many more questions to mm. ask about even more fundamental aspects of reality. Might I sure do. Not asking them all right now. <laughs> Miss here will be here later too. She might be here tomorrow. She might be here later, but I need these answers now. Absolutely, my commitment here is long term. But I want to know if they're now. But perhaps it's better not to eat all your candy at once. No. I'll have it all, all at once if I want. Right, I'm not going to get that. What times are these? What is this? A bird. <laughs> A Svenicid? Svenicid? A flightless bird of the polar regions? Keep Some guessing. Sort of krill hunter? <laughs> oh, wait. <laughs> he said not to ask all the questions. Ruin. A symbol of hubris and... Fuck you! So are you then? Submerged in some salty sea. <laughs> you saying I'm ruined? Of course you're not, my dear. I'm just terrible at guessing games. I mean, what's this place? Ah. This place. Imagine thinking I'm miming being an animal. What's this? A moose. No. Or two. Uh huh. What's Rue de Saint Gislaine? A pre-revolutionary tenement. Old buildings are called tenements, you see. Yeah. And new buildings, bâtiments. Bâtiments. Le bâtiment nouveau. Ah. But thirty-three A and thirty-three B are not Nouveau. Tenements. They're old. Yeah, yeah, but but these these terms don't always necessarily mean that they're currently this new, one do they? Used to be eight to ten stories tall, a real high rise by It the means that they were part of a century. new movement at the Built time. Mirror the skyscrapers across the bay in the Delta. No anymore. That was before the war, of course. Well, who lived there? Mostly the urban middle class, I believe. This was once primo real estate. Before the cannons locked four or five stories did they not? Did they not rebuild it, no? Couldn't be arsed. Splat. Well, what's she doing? She's splat the paintbrush across her throat. Wonderful. Yeah, she's uh, she doesn't like you very much, I'm afraid. Alright, so I'm probably not gonna... Oh, let's point to her and see what she thinks of her. The girl in the old lady rags. Yeah. Like a sullen and rebellious member of... Because she said she hated her, so... Infraculture. Yes, you and I belong to the supraculture. We're common, the herd. It's nice to. The music think on you the radio included me with you. Chain restaurant. Those are all too popular for the girl in the old lady rags. Probably, she yeah. Prefers a fantasy world, an infraculture with its own dress code and vernacular. It is, is an it? illusion, I'm afraid. There is no refuge from the supraculture. No, probably not, but. Now explain the same thing, but to a child. Young people who dye their hair funny colours and wear old people's uh -huh. clothes are stupid, and their little rebellion. Right, is right. Repeating. Say what you think. Say what you think. You know. All right. What next? Suddenly, you're not so sure. You're. Yeah, I don't think I'm part of the super culture either. I think I might and be an infra culture. Uh, disco. <laughs> I can see that. Yes. I in it was a supracultural phenomenon. Well, not at the time. Not at the time it wasn't. It was a thoroughly supracultural phenomenon. You know, at the time that it was the time that it was big, it wasn't uh or certainly initially it wasn't an overriding culture initially, was it? Infra about disco, baby. Yeah, maybe. Your disco? Those days along behind. She looks like I don't know. And even in the early thirties, I would say I was more of a. She looks like I should be. Uh, I should be honking to double check if she's, minor, if she's alive. But still enjoyable facet of the whole thing for me. Yeah, the new. 
cultural era. The new era. In the name of the decade. Wasn't that uh, the thirties? The new era. It came out of Wasn't the most that... revolutionary revolution. It was ultra liberal. Uh, was that not a thing? Oh, that's. I was going to say, was that not something with WWE, with WWF, WWE, or whatever? But no, it was. Uh, it's the current era of WWF wrestling. They are calling the new era. What should we call it? The shy era. It involved lots of partying, as you might imagine, <laughs> and champagne-coloured. Well, from 2016, actually. So. By the looks of it. That post was kind of. Came of age. Now. I don't know what would you say. Certainly post the sort of CM Punk sort of stuff that I really liked. That would have been when you came of age, yeah. It sounds fun, can't remember anything. Champagne doesn't sound like anything I'd be into. Course, I'm straight edge. We're talking about CM Punk, rap. so you know we had to say. A serious detective on a case called Oh yeah, I don't drink he doesn't drink at all. Speaking of, he doesn't drink anything. I know <laughs> I think that'll probably do it. Uh, those two conceptualizations and stuff. Anything else? Uh no, that's enough. Spoken to you enough. I've got other things I need to do with my time. More important things I need to do with my time. Docking reserve for residents. But she's not a resident. Oh, hey, what's this? Did we look at this before? The belly of this boat shines like it was recently painted. Well, not very fucking well. <laughs> Who painted that? Looks like there was more construction here once decades ago. Well, she did say stuff was like shot and blown down. Can I get inside this building? A sturdy metal door guards the southwest oh, entrance locked. to the apartment building. It's locked. This could be a way into the apartment building the could be. men have vanished into. Should we give them a knock and see if anyone's got an answer? The door rattles against your knuckles, but there's no response. It's the cop the knock, that's the problem, you know? It's, it's the cop knock. This time, you hear an elderly woman's voice calling out from inside. I'm not letting any more strangers inside. I'm not letting any more strangers inside. It's a police open the door. The police. Everyone knows the police don't come Everyone out here. Everyone knows the police don't come out here. But, but I'm not joking. No, I already told you. I won't be responsible for any more strangers getting into the building. Oh, how do you know? How do we know she's the cleaning lady, by the way? Go check the backyard door. Maybe someone there will. Maybe someone there will open the door for me. Oh, aye. Backyard door. With the smoker. You already were there. Didn't work. Here, there, I've checked the backyard. Oh, we had enough problems. Enough problems with bams and drags. You have no business here. Okay, well, we'll try and convince her because I can see. I can see I've got a high chance of succeeding at that, so. You're well versed in the kind of threatening legalese that implies criminal liability. But in fact, what was it saying? No am I? Whatsoever. What's, what's am I? Oh, that's me questioning. Am I? Obviously. <laughs> we have to just do it. Threatening stuff spewing forth. Yeah, I think, I think that might be bile, to be honest. I don't think that's, uh, I don't think that's anything to do with being a good policeman. Open the bloody door then. Miss, would it help oh. if we offer to show well, you our No, it wouldn't help if we offer to show our badges because I don't bloody have one. Ah, it's like a carrot to the stick, sort of. Hold your horses. <coughs> Maybe we shouldn't go in here. Just a thought. I don't care about your stinking badge. Just come in. She doesn't want strangers in. She's like, oh, for fuck's sake. I'll just let you in so I don't have to deal with this bullshit. Thanks. Thanks, pal. <laughs> you can sleep after nine. You can sleep when you're when you're dead. To be honest, is this the person that wouldn't let us in? Graffito says a fire squad for the rich. Oh, why not? Is this her? Give me a moment. This is her. The cold never does any good for my bronchitis. Ah, I could hear that. This woman's health is failing her. There's not much to do. Not in this damn. Hey, all right. Should I call a doctor? I'm fine. Fine. Don't you worry I'm about me. I'm fine. <laughs> I won't. You're still worried. It's very worrying. Now, what do you want from me, policeman? 
She's the cleaner. Um, I'm looking for a young she male. The floor plan and the residence. Well, first of all, who are you? I'm no one. She's Just no one. Hello, no one. Flings these hallways. Cool. <clears throat> call it living. Yeah. I have a little room upstairs, right next to the coal room. She has a little room. It's barely bigger than a closet, but I don't complain. No. You don't complain. I said, and my aching Why are you not complaining at all? Me company, and that's all I need. From I don't. You should have your aching bones to keep you company. That's, she hasn't that's, spoken that's, to that's anyone for a so while. Even her sentences feel. Ah, it's just like me and many other people, I'm sure, at the moment. You know. Sentences feel rusty. What's it going to be like when you go back to work? And you can't remember what you should talk about or what kind of stuff was was appropriate to talk about at work. <laughs> yes, yes. I know who he Yeah, who is he? The scrawny boy who's always smoking like the devil. I don't know. Does the oh. devil smoke? Somewhere in the building, a child starts crying. You hear a radio chill. That's a pretty good bloody hearing that I've got, by the way. Taking a shower. Or paper-thin walls. What's he in trouble for? No trouble, I just want to talk to him. Talk? <laughs> uh, what? Yeah, that, that's, that's what I want to do. What, I know you might be used to like police just coming in here and... What was so funny about that? He lives upstairs in room 28. Room 28. Go to the balcony. It's one of those doors there. Right, okay. He's usually home in the evening. Is he? Right, very good. Thank you. Uh, do I, want, do I have any questions about the apartment? I don't think I do. Not right now, anyway. But let's have a quick look around before we go. Wait, wait, no. That's where I think that's where yeah. he is. No, I didn't want to talk to you. I mean, not not in a nasty way. It's not that. I, uh, what, what can I say? Foreclosed by Martinez Realty. What's in here? Can we get this door open, please? Right, what was that thought that we had, anyway? Mazovian socioeconomics. I don't think I had that. Did I, did I have that? No, oh, I can't internalise it right now, anyway. Jamais vu, derealisation. Uh, do, 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 do. Temporary research bonus. What does this do, though? Uh, do, 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 do. I don't have enough space to internalise anything else unless I take something else away. Can I unlock this? Uh, how do I unlock a slot? I need a skill point, don't I? Don't have any points right now, so we'll have to come back and do that another time. Certainly can't do it right now. Uh, let's have a look at the buildings inside here before we go looking for this guy's... Uh, for this guy's apartment. Apartment 8, their mailbox is overflowing. Can we look in the mailbox? I guess not. I can't even open the door. But we can do this. There's some cash. Let's have some cash. We don't even really need that cash anymore, but we'll take it anyway. Door number nine's locked. We have got a postcard. Boogie Street. 46. It's worth one dollar, one real 40. You hear someone walking around inside, rearranging the furniture. Let's, get, let's head into number 10. The panel says 10. The walking stops abruptly. But no one comes to the door. I know you're there. You can feel tension on the other side. A no, poor communard from the looks of it. The room is barely bigger than a closet. Yeah. It's the police. Do I have to open it up here? There's no voice acting for this character. What? Do you have a warrant? Let's go. We don't have a reason to get inside that apartment. It's generally easier to do things if you have literally <laughs> any reason. Well, let's ask who's at number 10, because that person seems awfully shifty to me. I've still got my carrier bag, look. Give me a moment. I have a few questions. Away, Who lives at number 10? Aha! Now I've got a reason. Impossible. I would know if someone had moved in there. Let's ask about these other apartments, actually, as well, Maybe while we're on it. countercultural people again. Breaking into a house. I better check that, eh? Space. Great. I'll go and see. Now I've got a reason to be there. Now we can find out who's hiding in there. Cool. Do you know who lived in that apartment? Didn't care. Oh, lovely. Is one of the residents on vacation? Well, you see, the thing is, 
You don't keep an eye on everyone, but that can mean one of two things. Either the person's gone on holiday, or they're they dead. Just moved yeah. Or died. Hopefully, somewhere, Hopefully else. somewhere else. They tell me about Cindy. Nothing I can do about her, I'm afraid. Alright, so she just... That's the girl outside that was being nasty about the other woman. Still what? She leaves an old lady to her business. All right, fair enough. More than I can say for who, who are you? Who are you speaking to there? Who are you speaking oh, about there? No, 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 no. Right, see you in this apartment. By the way, you're not supposed to be there. You hear someone walking. Up. Apartment's supposed to be empty. You have plenty of reason to enter. I don't uh, need a warrant. Yeah, open the door. Well, that was easy. Well, I mean, smart. we were right, weren't we? <laughs> Ask some questions. Person seemed dodgy. Ask some questions, and then you can get your way in. That's what being a detective's all about, right? Just gotta find my mattress. A blister pack of medicine peeks out the box. You should take it. Yeah, just Hi. nick people's medicine. My name is Marielle Charpentier, and I'm an agent. She couldn't speak on the other side of the door. I am not breaking in, as I have every right to be here. She looks like she's but been uh, huffing the Joker gas, Luke. Her voice is really cheerful, despite her obvious. <laughs> hate. It's one of those, yeah. Do you want to see my ID as well? Yeah. You can't legally ask for it, but why not? I don't, I don't, I don't care. Just need your ID, just some Very questions. Well, but please make it quick. I need to be back in La Delta in an hour. What are you doing here? I need to get it ready for the next lease, but as you can see, the previous tenant completely trashed the place. So why not just drag it all out and throw it over the balcony? It was some kind of a moribund old man. Oh, was it? Who used to be a business owner. You'd think they'd make rent. Well, it depends what happened to their business, doesn't it? But that was months ago. Anyway, was there anything you wanted, or is that it? I'm in a hurry. Who lived in the oh, foreclosed apartment? Huge mess. The former Three months of rent. Three months of rent. I thought. Bloody one words. And planned on auctioning off the valuables, but. And again, I have no idea how stupid mistakes like this can even happen. But Ron, there's a hole in the wall. Close the door. Didn't close the neighbor's oh. door. Okay. And there's a hole in the wall. Very good. A hole in the wall. There's a hole in your bucket. And then the tenant ran off with his stuff. He's gone. The money's gone. All the money's Just gone. Like the sum must have been puny. Probably. Oh, it irks her. Huh. The incompetent. Could it be much money? These apartments are perfectly <laughs> fine. They're perfectly fine. Nothing wrong with these apartments. You can take a crap out the window if you want. No toilet, you'll notice. They're affordable. In other words, they're cheap. In a few years, it's going to blossom with artists and creatives and those radio computer wizards. Probably, yeah, you're right. Don't Should definitely be into that. With the wall. I have no idea how we're going to find the time or resources to fix it. Well, you know, maybe if you maybe if you weren't uh, scamming people who don't have a lot of money, Both apartments are now you could actually rentable. own apartments Both. that were, you know, that that of different course. people would rent. Instead of being like slum lords, you know, you could maybe try being like a decent landlord. Oh wait, never mind. Hypno gamma, what does that do? I still can't get anything to actually heal me, like his actual health. Black monk straps. We got some shoes. Are these shoes any better than my nice, than my lovely green snakeskin shoes? Because I doubt it. Plus one composure, minus one savoir faire. Uh, that's plus one to indirect modes of taxation. I don't think I've got that as a as a thought process. I've also got an orange bum hat. Why am I not wearing it? You just have to make him look like a toad. I mean, look at this guy. Look at this guy right now. He comes to this guy comes up to you and goes, ah, I'm a police officer. What? <laughs> Still got plenty of stuff to do here. And we've got to do it all before bloody nine o'clock, haven't we? Oh shit. Right, well, I'll leave you to your nonsense right now, but What was this one? This door has been closed with a padlock. 
A chalk drawn number on the board says number 11. Probably no point knocking. It's a solid lump of metal, but Padlock. the shackle is deeply corroded. A oh, I've got some chain cutters, I think. Would make short work of it. Better without those cutters. You won't get very far otherwise. Oh, but look. Oh, I need to I see. Hang on a sec. I've got a feeling that I'm not going to be able to do this, but let's let's try. Uh, bolt cutters are there. We'll take them instead of the plastic bag, because uh, I've got the money now. I don't need the plastic bag. What's, what else did I have? What's that? Oh, that's that postcard of Boogie Street that we can presumably sell. This door has been but, closed. Oh yeah, that's a much better, much better chance. Here, it went from 3% to 58. That's just by having the things in my hand. The shackle snaps like a twig and the lock falls to the floor. I wonder what we're going to find in here. Up. It should be possible to enter now. After you, detective. After me, because I'm the one that just broke into the apartment. Right, what do we have here? Flamboyant poster of a white star. Photos of revolutionaries. Books of critical theory on the monstrosities of capital and such. Also got this. Oh, there's some sort of revolutionaries love to pose with their guns. Right, what do we have here? A 9mm bullet and a Saramirizian lounge jacket, which is better for conceptualization. What have we got in the way of a jacket? Better esprit de corps or better conceptualization. I feel like what what does my what's my situation with both of those look like right now? It's completely the wrong option I've just chosen. Five. What was the other one? Conceptual they're both five, so that there's not really much point changing anything, is there? Not really. Uh, okay, so not much to find there, but we have got this. This bust of... A plaster cast bust depicts a middle-aged middle -aged man, man with impressive sideburns. The name... Krasmazov. 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 There we go. Here, ...was an economist and a theoretical historian. He was a leading figure in the Grad side of the turn of the century. <laughs> Should we do the second one? ...where he headed the nine-day government. Mazov. Is considered nine day government scientific communism. Here it says nine days, that says eleven. Zovianism. He said nine day government nine day government, but that says eleven day government. Did they record that wrong or let's do this one. Whoever lives here oh. definitely shares your <laughs> They do. That's why I thought I would speak. There aren't many communists around. Not after the revolution. No. Some youth still keep the ideology going, it seems. Why do they have him in their bedroom? White star? The photos on the wall. I think we have broken into the apartment of Communard. Yeah. How fitting. Leave. Uh, I think that was all we could do in this apartment. Looks like it. Let's take a look around down here before we go looking for this other guy's apartment. Because uh, I think there's well, there's a room here. What's this room all about? That's the way out to the balcony. Oh. Box filled with cleaning chemicals, smells of laundry detergent. There's something on the ground there, though, isn't there? Move over. Some, oh, some flip-up glasses. Which adds to my logic, but not my authority. Uh, I don't think I have glasses. They're not tools. They're not clothes, either, apparently. Oh, they are. Just weird. Is he wearing them or not? They're invisible glasses! Am I wearing them or am I not? I, I really don't know. Yeah, that's gone weird. Am I, have I equipped them or not? Okay, I have. That's fine. That's gone a bit odd. I hope that's not going to be a major problem. Eviction notices of missing pets are plastered on top of each other. Well, the pets aren't missing if they're plastered on the wall, right? Old shoe rack. Exciting. Apartment 12, a loud rumbling snore comes from within. Well, wake him up. And we've got this place. And I'm just looking around everywhere right now. Bathroom. And there's like a, something on there. Some more money. Just pinch everybody's little uh, stashed money here and there, you know? 
Right, so, oh, these shoes come in three different sizes, so three different people, I guess, have shoes. Amazing. Uh, let's go this way first. I think we have to go to that balcony up there, but I'm wanting to go and have a look over here, because, um, if I remember rightly, there's a way that you can get up to... We've got no way to open that. We can't open that. I think there's another balcony here. But that one takes it. The sea below looks cold and winter grey. Oh, there we go. Someone's just torn down the wall. Alon Z. An old grocery list. Any food? Uh, we got one of them. A health booster if we need it. And a little bit of cash. But that's about it. Nothing much else in there. It's like little tangents, you know, and you go to these places and then there's not really anything there and you think, well, why did I bother? Right, let's go on this balcony first. This is where that, that girl is doing her painting, I think. We already spoke to her, but we can see what's around. See a container you can't open? They equip a pry bar. So there she is. We've spoken to her already, but what's in here? I saw this door from the ground. I'm just interested to know what it is. Uh, this obviously tells you about some of the some of the skill checks you've got there. Obviously, if it's a red one and you fail it, you failed it, and that's it. Uh, what do we have here? We've got some bits and pieces. Someone's been sleeping here recently. Cindy, what the Cindy, the, the doll Cindy. Enough coal to last for several winters. Smells of chemicals. Oh, we got some jeans, look. Poor Lom, labourer jeans. Class one for electrochemistry, but not so good in the old re reaction speed. And we also got like five reals in there. I just nicked someone's, uh, someone's life savings. I feel bad. Uh, there's a door up here that's got a green thing on it. All that just to get another loading screen. <laughs> Right then, up here. What is this? Anything? The door's locked, you can't get in. There's a box. Oh. Got two little markers here. Above, tarps flap in the wind, forgotten hammers and nails rust. This was the areas that they didn't build. The chair's new, someone lives back there. Oh, that'll be where that cleaner lives. Wait, does she live in a... She doesn't even got about have a wall? She lives in like a cupboard? Well, not even a cupboard, it's like a cell. By choice. Right, uh, so now we're going to go up to the other balcony at the other end. Because I think that's where the guy was. We've got like 85 reals now. It's only set at 7 o'clock, so we're doing alright. What was this? That isn't just a five-pointed star. white pentagram. It's an inverted white pentagram. Cradled in a wreath of antlers, uh -huh. the iconography of communism. In other words, the look. star and antlers was developed in the sixth decade of the last century and quickly adopted by Mezov and the communards during the revolution. It's an inverted star, yeah. Even today, half a century after the star and do antlers I care enough to ask the rest? Of yes, I do. To evoke hope, I just as, you know, the thing I like about this game is that it just. Measure. Takes takes so much attention to, to the minuscule details the of the old order. Also, some social democrats were already using it. Let's deal with the antlers. The wreath of antlers represents a natural crown. It was about building a society that could exist right, yeah. in accord with the natural world, and at the same time, above it. So it's just interesting to me how it goes into so much detail with things that don't even God, really God's matter that much. Of hope. Only the scribblings. I shouldn't have done that. I've got plenty of them, though. Dirty hallways. It's just uh, pop a wee plus one morale, so we're not totally ruined, right? Let's go on the balcony. See if we can find this lad and chat to him. At this stage, I think we're going to have to wait till the next day to get into the. Uh, well, we might not have to. Yeah, to get into the the place. But we're going to go find this guy if we can. What's this? Breaker box full of cigarette butts and electric wires. 
What, he puts his cigarette butts in the electricity box? That doesn't seem sensible. Got some more cash there. Uh, just a door, nothing for you here right now. Just a door, there's nothing for you here! Apparently. Got there. Where's he going? Someone's growing rosemary thyme and a cactus. Now let's have a look at these apartments. This is a 29. Oh wait. Complete silence. Whoever lives here isn't home. Now that's 30, presumably. And he's 28. This is 30. So yeah, he's. That, this is where this guy apparently lives. This door is made of metal and appears to be it's a reinforced. reinforced door. Someone here really values their security. What? Number 28. This is where the cleaning what secrets is smoke on the balcony is. Is that is that a good reaction speed? I don't I don't know. Let's see if anyone's home. Knock on the door. No one answers. He's not answering. Is there a back way out, maybe? Looks like the young man we are looking for isn't home. I think our best chance to catch him is in the evening. In the evening? That means we have to come we back. Return tomorrow after we have finished with our tomorrow? work. Tomorrow? How about nine PM? Sound good? The smoke on the balcony. This is why we are here, right? He might know something about the murder. So why, to so tomorrow, 9 why PM? tomorrow? Can we not just go tonight at 9pm? What's wrong with tonight? Suddenly, he's a little worried about your memory. Don't worry. <laughs> it's mostly all still here. Well, okay, we go you tomorrow at 9. Things. That's a while away in you terms of gameplay, this. isn't it? Tomorrow, 9pm, right here. Apartment number 28. Good, let's go. Now, will he remind me? That's a good question, yeah. isn't it? Turns out it's quite tricky finding someone. It's quite tricky building. finding someone in a big apartment building when he's not gone anywhere. Remember, tomorrow, he's probably gone for today. Tomorrow, manana, as that lad uh, calls himself. Right, so I guess we've got to leave here just now. Then, can I open this door and like, will it then be unlocked, or will it like tell me that the door's locked and I have to go another way to get out? We have to find a way inside. Let's see. Will this let me out now? We have to find a way inside the harbour, though, don't we? Or whatever it is. Past all the uh, strikers. So, I don't know exactly... Exactly where we got to go there. Uh, right, so, we managed to get out that door. I wonder, does that mean we can then get in that door from now on? Hopefully it does. What was this door again? This was nothing. What's that? I can't see that. I can't see anything else. There is... I do know there's a way up there because I did briefly pay, play a bit of the game and get to about here pretty much before. Just to kind of get an idea of how things were, you know? Um... Then I kind of held off because I knew that the voice acting was being added to it. I thought that would be a better time to, to drop on and stream that. That's the wrong way. Actually, it's not the wrong way. I can go that way. It's just I would rather go this way. There is a, there is a doorway. Let's run with pliers, with wire cutters in her hand. This bit here, right? This is something that I can open. An inconspicuous pile of the roofing material, Etonite. Put skills into perception. Uh, well, I don't have enough skill points to put into anything yet, and I don't know when I'm going to get any, but what's my perception looking like anyway? Two. <laughs> that doesn't seem like a good, uh, like a good option. What else do we have? Uh, so, investigate apartment 10. Oh, I should have told her about that. Or did I have to? I have to report back to her. Interrogate drivers about smuggling. That was the thing we were trying to do, wasn't it? Although, our partner said we probably shouldn't. Also, how did I get there? But, you know, we can have a discussion. With some people. Watch how many people get really shifty now that we ask them about uh, smugglers, though. See what he knows about smuggling. Hello again, my man. What's Seems like a man who knows about oh, drugs. Man. Me and narcotics go way back. <laughs> That's a good question to ask That's somebody, isn't it? You look like someone who might know about drugs. Business, you know? Yeah. But those days are behind me. 
There are other addictions in my life now. Oh. Why the inquiry, my man? Let me straight. I'm trying to figure out who's smuggling drugs. We have a credible lead, sir. I'll just go Someone straight to the point. The boat is waiting for a boat shipment from the harbor. Nobody needs any bullshit in that situation, right? Not me, man. No way. I don't need any trouble. He seems like a pretty stat, pretty safe anyway. sort of guy, to be honest. This jam's got I'm hoping it's that horrible guy. Why are you hanging about? Hard to stop. Bosses don't look kindly on missing cargo, and it gives me time to work on my rhymes. A rhyme smith. Yeah. This is quite. Cool. Hey, didn't we find it some with its medication in the back of one of the trucks? Look, man, I try to stay away from the criminal. He doesn't know. Show. I'm a guest here. You really need to find another man to probe with those questions. We wouldn't say Fair enough, pal. Sire. What's this? Hit him with my best verse. There's something here. Stored away <laughs> in some here we dusty go. corner. Whoa. What else? We'll just keep going with poetry. Silent communion. That's good. We've created a poem where gaspingly you partake of a shifting identity, never your own. Dang. That's some great shit. You came up with that yourself. Uh, I'm just a vessel for the right. muse. But really, <laughs> no bullshit. That's great stuff. I sort of want to know if it's yours. I'm not. I'm not totally sure, Nomad. to be honest. <laughs> great verses like that. Not, sometimes. not in the best frame of mind Emily, to know. You might not look it. Seems you have some literary chops. Maybe there's hope for me yet. Just mess with. Okay. Up. It's cool. You're an okay guy, for a cop. They're more often in the fists yeah. than rhymes, D. That Let seems to be the case. Office behind the old military hospital, hunched under the green glow of his desk. What's this? Officer Hans Blau browses through a test. What are we looking at now? Of his futurist magazine. There's somebody else. It's called the Futurist. It's a futurist the magazine called The Futurist. It's too small. It's a bit on the nose, but what can you do? Any organization gets all kind of folk. I'm sure we try our best. No joke. Yes. Um. If you say so, officer. <laughs> I just have to say that one because it makes all of them feel uncomfortable. You found like every single one of them are uncomfortable man. when you do that. Even impressed him. The next time you look in the mirror, though, remember those words. Remember those words. Yeah. It's all for now. Bye bye. Right, okay, so that was that one. Uh, who else is around here? There was another... I so want it to be that dodgy guy, man. That guy that was, like, the worst. That was, like, the most horrible person there. It could be her. She might be taking them. She might be carrying them inside her body. The woman still has her eyes fixed on the photograph. No, I don't think it's her. I don't really want to interrupt her. He told me not to snap my fingers in front of her face because she might, she might snap, she might attack me without without warning. Let's have another look in his wee window here. A lorry stuck in the traffic jam. The windows are clear. They've been recently washed. You can see a lorry man's cabin. The oh, driver like the has adorned his space with a substantial. Uh, this is like the. I don't think it's him. I don't think it's him. Uh, this guy is not a truck driver, so I doubt it's him. We're just going to go and talk to this arsehole again. Looking for something, Aunt? Come to tell me to fuck off again? What are you hauling? I'm here to pick up, to pick some, pick cargo, up some cargo. But, uh, the dock workers are on strike, so uh, it's a sit and wait on your ass situation. All right, what are you picking up? Apples. Apples. Yeah, apples. I take apples? it you had other questions. Yeah, like why would you be collecting He's apples from here? Run around. Let's be honest. You were bested. You're a lorryman, right? What's your stance on drugs? Yeah, shit, man. I don't let anything <laughs> pollute my money. <sighs> why not? Do you know where that shit comes from? Sarah Miridza. Safre. Remember, this guy is a proper, you know. They take the money from our local he could be using that as a cover for taking, you know. And as we know, people in these sort, these sorts of people have uh, not had qualms about doing that kind of thing in the past, then so they can they blame others about it, you know. So they have to get us to weaken ourselves somehow. It's racial sabotage. 
Réchaud économique sabotage. Hmm. Pandemic alcohol. Any old matter? Doesn't drink. Al Ghoul. Rish Al Ghoul. I like a drum of that Yugo yeah, alcohol. And vodka. Koikos and worse much, but they do no booze. Vodka. So I take it you're not smuggling drugs. In, no doubt. I'll never betray the purity of my tribe. And what if it's not pure, mate? You fucking prick. So you're telling us <laughs> that you don't know anything about drug smuggling through Turkey? Ah, now that's not what he, that's not what he said. I don't know shit. If I did, I wouldn't tell you. What are you still here for? Most of the other people have left. What do you think? I can't leave the Lorient guarded. Can't leave his vehicle unguarded. Looted lately. It's those little kids. Can't leave the lorry unguarded. Stuff's been getting looted recently, but his lorry's empty because he's away to pick up apples. Hmm. There was a bunch of spilled boxes in the back of a big lorry nearby. Yeah, I did see one with the trailer open. What happened yeah, to that? I knew that guy. He was an honest driver who loved this country. We Smashed his lock and took everything. About genetics and the wheeling in rags. Yeah, we don't know who, who boys we don't know who his smashed his thing in. Damn near everything. Lost his fucking job over it. His accent is all over the place, by the way. He sounds a bit French, and then suddenly he doesn't sound. Lost his fucking job over it. He almost sounds Since English left, there. I haven't had anyone to talk to. Oh, that's if a shame. They were getting drunk inside the whirling in rags. Yeah. How could they know who? Yeah, exactly. The that's the question that I was thinking of just a second ago. What? Aren't we allowed to say that he's a kids who do all the sitting around here? That's not road to science. It's not right? true, is it? It could be anybody. If it's not you, then who's running drugs? Isn't it obvious? Fucking ceiling. That so there's his suggestion of who it might be. His little side business is a scam. I wouldn't be surprised. So, okay, so he's suggesting this guy. Well. He's a Samaran guy who likes to pretend he's and where is he? a kind of businessman. Oh, Stuffy stole a few broken seals on the human ox lorry. The human ox lorry. After he broke the seals on his human ox lorry. Where will I find him? Just follow the smell. It smells like uh, apricot and oil when you're nearby. Oh, does it? All right, fair enough. Yes, yes. Where is he? Yeah, like where exactly? Your partner there. Too bad. Shut up, mate. Usually a little bit Just tell me where he is. The other canal. But it's south of here near the canal. Watch yourselves. His tribe are natural liars. Oh, it's in their blood. Like an arsehole, man. He's your man, all right. One hundred percent. I wouldn't be so sure about it. Yeah. Not until we've heard what Sealing himself has to say. Well, you know, Guess that's so. it. Guess so. Done for now. Right, let's see what's going on in... Right, so what was he... Do? So, towards the canal in the south... He says there's somebody called Si Lang. Is that down here? Oh, there's the human ox lorry. Can't get into it though. That's my that's our pal's vehicle. Somewhere we can go down here to see this person? Is that somewhere we can go? Is that gonna be the guy, is it? Uh, what have we got here? There are clothes inside. Clothes, cheap clothes. Cheap oh, look at me, he's selling. Smelling of okay, he's smelling clothes, clothes, smelling of. Yeah. Don't be shy. These are premium so, this is the guy that he says did it. Fabrics, the suggestion design. being that the clothes he has there, I don't want that. How about Thanks. some premium class service over here? Like paying with net worth. Go over and ask, ask him if I can pay with net worth. You find your with nothing, you mean? In tattered and faded garments. Hey, with nothing. Weird polyester blends that make your body itch. Hey, with nothing. How much net worth he has? Hang on a sec. But also trendy. Look first hand. Buy second hand. Keep the economy moving.
Okay, so what were we saying about this guy? So he's got all these clothes. Doesn't mean that he stole everything from the back of that truck, though, does it? Can I find no. anything? No, I can find anything. Some treated wool pants. You can some tell that treated wool pants. And too loose around the waist. No, no thanks. Why not take another look of it, I don't want to buy these itchy pants. What, what economy? Whose economy am I supporting by getting your second-hand you pants? A simmering street vendor surrounded by a motley assemblage of goods. When he's he welcoming me. You're looking at him. His face breaks into a wide, welcoming grin. The is name Silene is in Yeah, so this is the guy that the other guy said. Happy shopping, officer. Everything's cool here. Oh, why did I, I why did I choose to leave? The name. Happy shopping of What's so cool? Everything's cool. The goods are, goods are cool. cool. The customers are cool. The place is cool. And one more thing, officer, I bet he says that I'm cool. You're very cool. Yeah, I thought so. Bang, 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 bang. Whether I'm cool is unimportant. Right, Questions. One hundred percent. No playing around. Yeah, straight to business. But persuade him to give me money. Maybe He's not going to do that. You in some premium menswear instead. Yeah, where are you? Where are you from? It's a boring story, officer. Who cares about the past? Yeah. I'm all He's only interested now. in where he is now. All shops. This man probably comes from Seagai, sometimes known oh. as the Apricot Suzerainty, an archipelago in the Samara East. Right. Yeah. So we could say that then. Seagai Apricot Suzerainty. It's all the same to me. That is the place. It's all cool. It's all I'm cool. Sale. Go ahead. All cool. One. Super high quality, friendly prices. Uh, not so much a sale right at this minute, but what's your stance on drugs? I don't go in for that, officer. Drugs ruin lives. Sure, Unless but you're into drugs, of course. In which case, drugs <laughs> are excellent. Tasty. Ah, I'm not going to say that. That's a, that, that's a ter that's a horrible line. That's a horrible line. And yet, hmm. shall we say we're super into drugs? See what happens. That's very cool. A lot of the coolest detectives do drugs. It doesn't Sadly, have any. I don't have any drugs on sale, or at my home, or, or on my person. I have no drugs anywhere. No drugs. Never ever. No drugs. We're looking for a lorry driver to that's support in them. You investigating that and all? But, yeah, uh, I'm aware of that. I am not a lorry driver. I'm just a street vendor. You are a street I vendor. And maybe you see that. things. A blatant lie, sire. Yet he tells it with such conviction. Ah, there we go. So we've caught him out in, in a lie, but that doesn't mean that he's stolen everything, right? Who said that? It's the fat racist, right? It is, actually, I yes. Him. He has an agenda against me because I'm an immigrant who works harder than he does. He's a hater. hater. Yeah. So you get rid of the haters. No, I just. <laughs> I work harder. And he's an asshole. I'm. Trapped himself. He's trapped himself in his own lies. Realizing he can't get out of it. Smart man. Okay, maybe I'm a lorry driver too. A little. A little. That's just now and again, he just dabbles in lorry driving from time to time. That's my day job. Just, just dabbles in this it. This is my dream. Ah. So you forgot to tell exactly. me. Exactly. It's such a small part of my life. It's in the rear view mirror. Is it? I'm climbing out of that hole with ingenuity. They would say my source tells you. I don't want to use that guy as the source, to be honest. But let's talk Nothing. to him this way. I told you. I'm not a dumb guy. I don't get involved with that crowd. Yeah, but are you aware of anyone? Crowd, you know. The drug crowd, the drug just crowd? just a general drug crowd, you know, just just in, just in general. He doesn't want to talk about them. He's, He's afraid. Afraid. Who are you afraid of, Selang? Look, there's bad people doing bad things here. That's all I know. That's all. That's all he knows. Apparently, that's all he knows. He says. I spent but... 15 years working my way up. Here we go. There's a tiny, a tiny bit of truth mm. on the table. Zoom in on it. You don't want to get into this mess. You have to give us a reason a she, to move on. Okay? A she. The other drivers call her the lady. They just call her the lady driver. Better off staying away from her. The way they talk about her. She's no. She's no lady. All right. Is the lady driver the old woman back there? Point to the pale driver. I don't know. 
Maybe. We've already got it come down as she's the pale driver, so obviously she must be. It shouldn't. I told you. It shouldn't really have given that away. She was strange. Yeah, yeah. It could be. Who are these other drivers? All of them. I don't know. All of them. I told you all I know. Are we cool now? So she dangerous. Who exactly is talking about this lady driver of yours? The racist or the other one? Yeah, who? All of them. Even the, even the ones, ones who've left. gone away. I don't hang out with them. I don't remember who has He's just up he's just like up the road there, mate. Seems like a decent enough sort oh, of guy. Nice. Ice cold. Let's cap this off with a party. No, bye. <laughs> Alright, so we now have a, su a suggestion that that old lady that we saw might be something to do with it. Let me ask him a question. See if See if he'll tell me anything about her. Her one of the drivers is a woman. I don't think she's here. I don't want to talk about that. He doesn't want to talk about her either. Man, I was hoping it isn't going to be her. She isn't around. She isn't an evil drug trafficker. She isn't around here anymore. She isn't some evil drug trafficker. And I don't know where she is. Who is this person? Thank God, I don't know. People here call her the lady driver. She kept her. She never told him. Yeah. Me too. Now I see why. Who is she? A friend? An acquaintance. She was a person. She was the only person in this damn jam I could talk to. But it looks like everyone's... She's someone I don't want to write out to the law, okay? What does she look like? A youngish woman. Gruff, but in a cool way. This doesn't sound like what the person that we saw over there. Blue and Violet. Died. It was Violet when she got here. Right. Blue before she went. Then she may have died again. Hmm. Okay, I'm not, I'm not going to go that hard on him. We can't just let it go. It's I don't want to go that hard on the guy. Isn't. All part of the investigation. The girl's troubled. If you hunt mm. her down, she may not survive it. I can't have that on my conscience. It won't come. Right. To we won't pursue her on this. This is yeah. We're not. We're not trying to. I don't believe you. She's got the darkness. In She's her. got the darkness in her. That might that be dangerous. Stay away. I think it's all over. And you're looking She's got the band out. of the darkness in, in it. Wait. She shared this with you? Yes. Which is why I don't want to snitch on her. I was told everyone's afraid of I her. I heard the rumors. I saw the other drivers looking at me strange when we talked. Hmm. And she told me too. That she's had a violent life. So he's afraid for afraid. her. More like for her. Did this violent life include drug trafficking? Well. It looks like it did now. But we, we didn't, didn't talk, talk about, about that. Hmm. We talked about life, you know? She talked about her mind. Did she leave her lorry oh, behind? Man. Go grow someone else with these questions, okay? Uh, the, the other guy would tell me. Couldn't stand her, or were afraid of her. They'd be more we know who would tell around. us. But I, right. there are other options. The race man for one. I would rather not talk to him. The gray-haired woman. Maybe she knows something. Push Tommy, and it will break his heart. Yeah, I don't... And his spirit. Don't expect you to be pals. I'll drop the bat off for now. Friend. I'll see you later. We'll try and speak to this woman over here, although she didn't really speak to us. I don't want to like click my fingers in front of her face, but maybe I don't have any choice. I think she's over here, isn't she? There. Is that her or is that someone else? Because he could have lied about her description, you know? The woman still had If you want her attention. You may need to be more forceful. I oh, mean, snap twice. Who am I? Who are you? Uh, I am. The smile on her face has disappeared, replaced by the weary aspect uh, there of the beast. You're right, ma'am. You were out. Uh, never mind. I remember. Still now. in the traffic jam. In the fifties. I was just talking about traffic jam in the fifties. What's so bad about that? The men have small jaws and everything is made out. Everything's of plastic. plastic. Why do you need? What? Plastic? So what's it going to be like in the seventies then? The world out of under. Where else would you be? Back in Mexico, during the time of the revolution. That's what she was remembering, I guess. The side walls she was remembering something the young people. I was from a time that was enjoyable. The picture starring Gabriel Buenguero. Until you came along, who that is? Who's Gabriel Buenguero? Is Gabriel Buenguero. So that's the photo she was looking at. A strikingly handsome man looks straight at you. His head crowned. With a wide brim. Is it like Antonio Banderas or something? As an oil slick. 
probably. And his jaw, the most perfectly chiseled thing you've ever seen. He was the biggest star of his day. Was he? Girls mm. used to faint in the aisles of cinema whenever he came on the screen. And school boys used to memorize all <laughs> his lines. Yeah. I think you were in mesh when you were young. Someone was. She nods as though her meaning was perfectly clear. Someone, are these not your yeah, memories? Someone's memories, boy. What if so, it doesn't make it is me or not? She, this is somebody else's They're stuff she's got. That is all that beautiful matter. memories. Beautiful and true. And they will win. They're coming for this, you know? Probably, she seems yeah. to derive some bitter pleasure from this strange thought. Mm. As if the past will one day wipe the present away. Like yep. a tidal wave approaching. Got some other questions. Police not, questions. Teacher. It's not like I have anything better to do in this. <laughs> She's stuck here anyway. She agrees. Let's see. Uh, There's see. something off about this woman. Tell her to show you the soles of her boots. Maybe she was at the hanging somehow. Show me the soles of your boots. Now what do you want with an old woman's boots? Hell, I'm a certain thing you should let me get back to Gabriel Buenguerro. You are no Gabriel. No, you're right. She's I'm not. Wearing sturdy workers' boots. Made of black leather, buckles run across. Uh -huh. The soul is also made of leather. The other one for Gabriel, it was the coronation of Franco Negro. No well, aberration. There was a real man. She puts her foot down. Moreover, the boots were size 37, tiny. Yeah, so there she wasn't discrepancies in all this. Another discrepancy. She wasn't one of them not then. Not boot related is the coronation of. His innocence, Franco Negro, what? which happened 500 years ago. What? You, why? It was. What? And then it was no more. Wait, what? And I was no longer She's... holding my father. I'm confused by this now. What? Was no longer than sending the stairs in Ryle. The crowd had gone. She's silent. having memories from. Perhaps it was another. Past that can't be hers. Came and wake me up, looking at my boots, asking questions. Or uh, perhaps it was Maybe. one of the others in this carnival. I don't remember. Mm. As she says carnival, she gestures to mm. the empty square with the statue and the machine. Yeah, fair enough. I could have told you that from just looking at them. The size is 36. He knew her shoes were too small. The feet of a little girl, they fit well on the pedal. Okay. And what are you hauling? Diamonds. Diamonds? Of course not. But wouldn't it be marvelous if I were? Would you not like turn around and go somewhere else with them? You know. Whatever stupid things they put in the lorry, I imagine. So you don't even know what's in I there. I concerning myself with that a long time ago. Besides, I don't drive the lorry for the cargo. If you know what I mean. What if the cargo's contraband? It's contraband, Loman. What? Do you want to take an old woman in? Be my guest. Lock me away like bad hand, Hermenegildo. Bad uh, okay. Hermenegildos's bad hand strangled. That's a pretty bad hand. What can I say? Bad hand. Some people just really like strangling people. Uh, are you the lady you driver? Call me a lady, Harry said. Well, she clearly doesn't think she's a lady. Don't repeat it. Sort of a woman driver. You're the I'm only woman that here. Hater, Harry I've gone too far from it all to remember. What was between so she doesn't even know. It doesn't work like that on the long haul. No. I'm only terrifying to small children. Oh, we've got some. Got an extra skill point. Used to know me. Yeah, it's not her. Believe me. Who's the female driver? How should I know? Do I look like I spend a lot of time no, with the No, to be honest, she doesn't. Sneaking around when I have my movies to go to. Said long the haul, that's the tracks. There's no women and men there. It's all just just people. In the middle of this town, just drivers. You're just a driver to them. It takes all the people away they want to stay. In the background, a quiet song seeps hmm. from her cabin into the air. You don't hear any vocals. I think we probably something in her is pulling towards some unknown rest state. Uh -huh. She twitches like a sleep kid. Yeah, I don't yes, think it's her. Enough jumbo. And I don't think she's going to tell us much about any of the other people either, to be honest. Oh, we've got a skill point we've got to use. But we're going to put it in perception. Right, because we need that so that we can try and get in that door. I keep doing that. 
Where's that guy? We're going to go and speak to the guy up there. I would rather not have spoken to him, but... Well, I need to speak to him as well, actually. What time is it? Almost 8 o'clock, so... Soon we'll have to go back to our hotel room. Looking for something odd? Come to tell me to fuck off again? Yeah. I don't know what you're talking about. First you, you, Selang. He stole his employer's goods and another lorry man's job. You should be thankful for the tip. Just tell me which you one's her lorry. Fuckwits, you don't scare me. You cops don't run Evershire West. You don't run Martinez. You don't run anything. So who does? The lady driver? He means la puta madre. All right. Legendary. And not in a good way. Right. From Jamrock. Controls what is probably the most powerful. So that's like a really bad person. In well, not West. bad, but you know, a really. Looks like the lieutenant has a plan. Let him do this. Yeah, okay. Yeah, him. Cross your arms and nod. Then I presume you are familiar with his peonies. Yeah. They're his little yeah. bitches. He's got them all over the unions. All over the unions. Not just the unions. He has peonies everywhere. Let's see what Kim's Some say he even driving out here. RCM. Dirty fucking peonies who do anything for him. Multi ethnic drug addicts. The lieutenant adopts a rodentine quality. Be cool, sire. He's getting into this. You're not peonies. Say nothing then. You wouldn't be investigating a drug thing if you were. Would we not? No, of course not. We are not peonies. But if we were. Mm. And one of Madre's drivers were to be stealing yeah. from him, then it's a good peonies job to find out who that is. He's that surprisingly is. good at this. <laughs> Not bad at all. Look yeah, at him. Kim's a uh, smart guy. It's not a hard job. It won't take a long time. It won't make Padre Madre mm. angry. But a stupid fucking racist is standing in the way, yep. protecting this fucking thief. I'm not scared of you or the mob. Are you not? I'm under the protection of the Lorimen and Carter's Guild. I don't think you are, mate. You've seen the corpse in the yard, yes? You took a peek. Did, yeah, I and he, uh, did. yeah. Does it look like his friends protected him? Nah, you wouldn't just leave him out there if you... Wouldn't we? The lieutenant <laughs> turns and gives you a barely perceptible nod. I've softened him up as best I could. Now it's on the... Nah, I'm not strong control. enough to do that. I haven't got anything I can ask him. If I do this, I'm going to fail. The main thing Failed. is to not overdo it. Even when you're trying to scare someone. Don't overdo the it. The most important thing is, how does it look on your resume? Why don't you and me step outside for a little talk? What? What do you think we're doing right now? Run. <laughs> Oops. I didn't think about that either. Talking. There's some kind of Homo thing? Some foolish private. Let's do that. Okay, that's enough, detective. That's enough. Let's just go and ask Tommy, alright? We are uh, wasting our time here. Ask Tommy. Wait, is that. I didn't have the skill level to actually be able to do anything with that anyway. Is there a person standing there? Was this Tommy? I can't remember now. Make way for the yeah. master poet. What? But I told you she's my friend. Please don't make me give her up to ten. Oh no, Thank no, I didn't want to do that. I wasn't going to do that. Uh, oh no, I'm going to have to, aren't I? Actually, what? I'm going to have to. I don't have a choice. But I told you're not going to put a bullet in your head if you blow it, are you? Because she's on the edge, man. Imagine it, an explosion mm. of. Stars. Goodbye, world of men, money, and machines. I don't want to force him. I, I thought you were a different kind yeah, of. Yeah, but you know, there's only so far I can go. The realization that you've used this friendliness and goodwill for your own ends. Here. He's giving me a key ring. Her lorry's still here, down past the statue of Philippe. The cabin is green. You can get in there with these. That's all I know. Okay. When did she leave? Last Friday. Well, that's good. So we, we don't have to arrest her. I sorry, I had to do this. And he's sorry he couldn't be what he wants to be. Hmm. A good person.
person. His last line. I don't care about why he has the keys or anything like that. Thank you for your cooperation, sir. You don't really think so. I really do. If I didn't, yeah. I wouldn't be in the RCM. See, I think probably, you know, they're partially kind of cops that... He's a cop that actually does care a little bit. But... Right, where was this truck? Green, he said. There's not a green truck down here, is there? Well, there is. I don't think it's that one. Or oh, could it be this one? Is that a truck, or is that... Oh, okay, that's the drawbridge, I think. Alright, so where's her truck? He said it was over here somewhere, didn't he? Come on, run! Run, damn you! Ah, oh, it'll be this one. This green foul, A to Z, there we go. is parked in the shadow of the ruins looming overhead. <sighs> it's seen better days. This is the one our men pointed to. Let's try and look in the window. The glass on the side windows tinted, is tinted dusty. and covered with dust. You can barely make out the shape of a seat and two steering levers. For the door handle. The door is locked. The handle looks sharp. Fair enough, we've got the key. Recently replaced. You push the key into the lock and turn. It makes a cracking sound. We're in. Then the door pops back a few centimeters. You can just open it up. Cigarettes and perfume welcomes you. The cabin inside is plastered with old movie posters. Actresses smile from the walls. Well, I think we need to be back before radio nine at the, the building to give him his money, don't we? Under the driver's seat, some tools mm. lie scattered near the pedals. Looks like. The frequency dial no frequency is dial for the radio. It requires a key to work, but the key mm. has been removed. Likely by the missing lady driver. Possibly. Strange. There are so many radio stations said there. Must be over one hundred at least. Yeah. Um doesn't look like it. It's completely inoperable without the dial key. Why would you need so many radio stations? Fleet of Florimen, for example. This is also yeah, it's all... UW and UKV. Looks like we are dealing with an impressive organization. Yeah. The nerve center of a huge operation. Quite possibly. It's quite the range too. The what else is here? A thousand cigarettes. Check you out the pedals. Under the steering wheel to get a better look. Seems like the few Some tools. Tools just around thrown around. A hammer, a pair of pliers, a rusty wrench. We're just throwing the tools around. Thrown there by the disorganized driver. But one odd detail does catch Piece of sandpaper? A piece of sandpaper has been glued to the throttle. Her shoe, the shoe with the worn sole. Sandpaper adds extra grip. Sandpaper? Another technique? Yes, it would also rub off the pattern from yes. their boot sole. Do the honours, he thinks. One of the footprints yourself. at the crime scene. Which means that the missing lady driver was yeah. present at the oh, lynching. Yeah. She was there. We've identified one of the footprints. Yeah, we've got so many people to, to identify. The movie stars are still smiling from the walls. There's Let me take a look at these posters. posters featuring starlets from uh, the sorry, I skipped that whole bit of... From the 20s, the teens, even the 90s of the last century. One Why? particularly catches your eye. A centerfold of an ingenue attached right above the back seat. Here, is this going to be like... Uh... Like Andy the Dufresne. Is draped in a sheath dress, one of her shoulders bare. Rip the poster down, there'll be a hole behind it. Of an autograph run across the poster. She's looking past the camera. Mm. This is Tip Tijon. Tip Tijon. From the dawn of cinematography, less known for her talent than her tragic, untimely death. Uh, what happened to her? She wasted away in a drug den called Door to the River. Not far from here, mm. on Boogie Street. A mixture of mm. cocaine and morphine. She was afraid of the world, and the camera, too. Mm. Interesting. Enough the posters. The actresses and the rear actor all smile you a warm goodbye. Aye, aye. A radio transmitter is attached to the dashboard. A metallic drawer. Anyway, what's in the toolbox? From the seat. It's empty, except for a folded newspaper. Alright, let's unfold it then. It's an issue of Periferic. 
Periferik. Periferik. It looks like an article ripped out from a radio enthusiast magazine. Okay. Complex mathematical equations explain the basic U-Land frequencies. The U-Lan frequency system. The U-Lan frequency system? I've never heard it's of it. It's new. Before. Or at least it's new of FM, AM, UKV, but it's a different frequency. Back into its nest. The rest is as it was. So it's compared to radio, under posters. A trace of motor oil smell under all the cigarettes. You close the rusty old lorry door. Great. I Can I check the trailer? Rest. A word, detective? Before we return to Joyce? Sure. What is it? Alright, we've finished here. Let's quickly debrief and go. Uh. So we don't do it in front of the company rep. Okay. Honestly, I'm quite worried what by what we've seen so far. The evidence seems yeah. to point to a rather extensive and well-organized operation. Yeah, that was my fault. The organization does seem a bit... Does seem a bit organized for an organization, you know? I'm especially intrigued by that radio transmitter. Particularly the sheer number of stations it can connect. Yeah. It looks like this alleged drug trade casts... Especially if it's on a frequency that nobody knows about. This means it's well-funded. Mm. Technology like that. A major player must be financing it. Maybe we should just not tell her, just say, oh, we didn't find it. Sorry, I don't know. I'm not sure what the ULAN frequencies are all about. Yeah, what are they? They may hold some significance. Perhaps some kind it's of... a better way to connect between fleets while avoiding frequency bleed. Or maybe it's used to tap into RCM. Possibly. Networks. Some sort of police scanner. Uh, I don't think that the movie posters factor into this at all. And they could, though. As elegant as they are, I don't think they are relevant to the drug trade. I don't think... Is that relevant? I don't, I don't think so. Yes, well... Unimportant. Yeah. We didn't find anything conclusive linking them to the smuggling operation. But somehow, I doubt that Everard Claire would be oblivious to something like this happening... Well, should we have asked that question anyway, just to... My suggestion is... We use it against the Union in any way we can okay. to our own ends. It's a slippery ill, but we just might be able to pin them down indirectly. So we've dealt with the kind of the kind of drug trade situation at the moment. We should return to the murder case, see what Joyce tells us about the lynching. When we are done for the day, I call my station and suggest our narcotics department look into it. There Good are idea. more than enough grounds to start an official investigation. Sometime later. Yeah, it's not not an investigation I want to do. I do not want to get caught in that. The fact that one hasn't started already gives me pause. Yeah, an, an investigation. investigation. No one intends to investigate this. The grouping is involved, and I can't imagine there are. Nobody cares. Certainly worrisome. All the same, I don't like the idea of internal affairs descending on the mm. matter. Yeah. That won't help anyone either. Okay, well, debriefing over, thanks. Debrief over, after you. We have debriefed for the day. Now put your pants back on, and let's get out of here. Wait, if we've done it for the day, then we can't. Right, let's go and see if I've got enough perception now to get this bloody thing open, whatever it is. Get the investigate these these things that uh, Kuno has obviously got some interest in. An inconspicuous pile. Of oh, I can succeed now because there's a secret door. Secret door. That's why they're too orderly. There it is. You see a shabby little... A shabby door. secret door. Arg. Yeah, yeah, I've gained experience. What is this, then? A tool shed? Well, let's go in and find out. If we can. And we can. We can. Right, I don't want to, don't want to like, investigate too far, but... Um, I feel like we probably have to just have a look in this place and we can come back and... Is there a way out of it or anything? There's an exit there. I feel like we don't have much time to do anything at the moment. Oh, well, we got some Magnesolum. Magnesolum? Get out of the way or get fucked up. This must be Kuno's place, right? Be still, my beating heart. It's amphetamine. Got amphetamine? Sweet and the lieutenant isn't studying the powder in the mirror. 
be studying you. I just wanted to see whether I would take her. I've heard amphetamines make you a really good detective. I wasn't thinking about taking it, I was thinking of about justice. Detective. Swift justice. Don't mm. worry, we don't have to investigate every trace of narcotics. Yeah, swift, lightning justice. Faster, harder, Faster. justicer. More harder. justice. Justicer. More justice than justice. See that ladder there? It's probably another way into the industrial hub. Possibly, but I'm looking at the amount of time we've got right now and thinking that we don't really have time to try that. Cured pig's head. Lovely. This is David Cameron's bolt hole. Talk too much. Low morale. Put points into volition. I didn't. I, yeah. Not the most advisable joke, to be honest. Let's see what's here. What's that? The doorway's going to collapse soon. As long as it doesn't happen while I'm standing here. Now what's this? A Grand Couron postcard. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. What's in that box? Another Nosa fed. Oh, we got a couple of them now. What's also got, is that money line here? People just chuck their money on the roof. I'll take it. That looks like more. Take it as well. That way into the harbor. Looks like someone left his tarpaulin cloak hanging on the railing here. <laughs> Look, someone left his cloak behind. Yes, it's probably yours. It's probably Where mine. The RCM insignia. When you have. Have we got time to do this? I wonder. With your equipment, you could probably make the jump. You look like you've done some track and field huh? in your day. Let's give it a try. <laughs> Am I about to die? Do you think? I can make the jump, yes! Or not. Terrified of making that jump. No, no. That's still too high. <laughs> what are you thinking? You're not a gymnast. You're a boxer. And you've climbed way too high up there. You could have died there. Shit, 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 shit. I'm failing you. This wasn't part <laughs> of it. He's really unhappy. I got you, I got you, Gratan. Let me just adjust Shut up, Ty. It's not a perfect neat necktie. Hey, hey, what's happening? Yeah, okay. I can't breathe. It's okay. You're just having a little panic attack. A little one, Try yeah. Try to breathe as slowly as you can, all right? The necktie lets go a little. Its vicious grip it's easing around your neck. Colors return to the world around you. Good. Yeah, right. You only live once, right? When you're feeling better. Skill pilot points it's into the savoir fair. Oh, hang on a minute. Did I not have gear that reduced my savoir faire? Sav savoir faire? Savoir faire? Esprit de corps. Uh, so. Minus one savoir faire. I have an idea. Just do the jump with no underwear, with no trousers on. No, we can put these trousers on. I think we can do it again. The pockets of these new jeans are. Hey. What's the pocket? It's a chewing gum. Chewing gum. It reminds you of the fruity juice of apricots. You should inspect it closer if oh. you have time. Something about the wrap. By the way, the raw materials were most likely exported Here, this from might, these might be related to that guy we chatted to. Tea and processed in Sir Leclay into the apricot flavored chewing gum. Who knows? Loved by kids of today and yesterday. Mm. Something about it is familiar. Not just and to my fingers. To your fingers. Right, well, have I got enough to do this now, do you think? It's still caught on the railing. No one has No, okay, it doesn't count. Own. It doesn't count if I do that. Um, here it was as well that we changed into those trousers, though, otherwise we'd never known that was there, right? So I think we'll change them back. I was hoping that if I did that, maybe it would, maybe it would uh, 
Let me just see. In case I'm losing it in other stuff as well, though. He's got minus one there, too. Do you know what? I am. I'm going to take off these shoes. And I'm going to take off these trousers. Anything else reducing my savoir faire? Let's just see if that works. No, because it's mine. It was minus two, wasn't it? So try the jump in your That's underpants. It's still caught on the railing. No one has claimed it for their own. The cloak. Should I jump? Well, it doesn't seem too dangerous. It's not too dangerous. The cloak looks like a bag of goodies floating in the wind. Now, even even with that, pockets may lie. Even with that, we can't do it. What is our score in that? Two. So it was zero, really, with those clothes on. Which isn't ideal, let's be honest. Uh, now let's put his trousers back on just now. And his shoes. Because it's alright to do that once in a while, but maybe not, maybe not right now. Right, but it looks like that gets us into here as well. Whatever that is. Can we get there? Can we get in here at all? No. That looks like this is behind that wall. Because look, there's that door that we saw that you're supposed to open with that button behind the guy. So I think that we need to get down there. Go over there. But we can't do it right now because he needs more score in, in a skill. And it takes forever to build up the skill points. So uh, what we will do is go and speak to that woman. Tell her what we've found out about the drugs. And then at that stage it'll probably be time for, him, for them to turn in for the night. And we still need to pay that guy as well. In fact, should I go and do that now? Because if I don't pay him, we might not be able to get in. If I'm late for nine o'clock. So let's do that. Let's, uh, let's go and chat to the guy inside here and just give him the money that we owe him. Just to reduce any risk that we might... Uh, that we might... What am I talking about? That we might end up locked out for the night. That's what I was going to say. Because that is a risk. That is a risk. Over here. Yes, run over there. Who's that guy? I can't talk to him, whoever he is. Can I help so, you? About yes. that money. Have you got it? I have it. I hope you choke on it. No, there we go. Here it is, sorry for the trouble. Great. Thank you, officer. That's all I wanted. All you wanted. Payment for services rendered. It's good you paid before nine PM. Or your door would have been locked yeah. electronically. See, I had to come back. Please pay for each night in advance, starting tomorrow. Twenty reals a night, so I can pay for two nights now. I'll take a room here too. Well, he's gonna get a room too. I thought he said here, here. Hang on. Earlier on, he said he didn't have any money. Anything else I can do for you? Uh, no, not right now. Just wondering about something. This door that we were interested in. Hey, so we've been monitoring you internally. And now I know my we know Coco type. type. Okay, what am I? Yes. Um, sorry, cop. Yes, sorry, cop. The cop who's sorriest. Let's make it official now, shall we? He's not a great cop, is he? Going on in here. Uh, actually, I'm not no, sorry. Not. Come on. You'll be back to saying sorry in two <laughs> Probably. Minutes. Stop wasting time and begin the repentance. Do I want to be a sorry? Yeah, okay. Of course you are. It's he okay. is. He is, let's See be honest. He place, is. Like info. Or maybe every time you say you're sorry, you get a million bucks. Maybe. That won't happen. No, you're probably right. Okay. Oh no, I was going to go look at this door. I don't know if there's any other way we can do it. Does he not have a crowbar? You see a heavy steel door with a... No, the crowbar doesn't... It would give you an option to open it with a tool, and then it would say you don't have the tool, right? Or would it? 
Now go out here, we're going to talk to that lady up the top. Is that stuttering a bit, or am I just imagining that? Hopefully not. We're going to speak to that lady and let her know uh, that we found out about the drug situation that she was interested in. We opened that woman's door in the ha inside her uh, store. She's not going to be happy with us. I wonder if she's told her daughter not to let us in. He said we have to wait till tomorrow to speak to the guy on the windows on the balcony. Right. Spoke with the lorryman. My eyes on the harbour have sent word to that effect. What have you discovered? We discovered enough to conclude. Yes, and. Will you start an official investigation? Uh, I won't. If there is an investigation, it will be part of yeah, the to do me. Subject to confidentiality. I am sure you understand. Of sure course, she doesn't. Detectives. In any case, you've held up your end of our arrangement. We needed to get information off her, and the only way we could do it was that. Now it's my turn. I wouldn't normally break protocol like this, but the situation demands it. A bloodbath? If solve this murder, I'm afraid we may have a bloodbath on our hands. Right. What was that? So how are the, how are those two I things have an indirect connected? Play, I'm sad to say, my employer experienced a momentary lapse. Her employer of tried a. In that moment, they elected to deploy a private military contractor as an insurance measure. They called it my security detail. A momentary lapse of faith, though. After I relayed the union's initial offer. Every worker. A member of the board. Right, yeah. I tried to convince my employer it was simply a piece of rhetoric or a joke. They did not they didn't appreciate like that. Of course they didn't. Absolutely did she not. Need a secure, yeah. These mercenaries are muscle, pure and simple. They are meant to intimidate the union. That was never going to happen. Who are they, exactly? Yeah. Crenell. An Oranese Crenell. company. As far as I know, three arrived in Martinez. They report to me sporadically, but... They do not answer to me. Right. To be frank, our relationship is deteriorating. Because she's not getting the job done, I would imagine. They wear ceramic armor, have semi-automatic weapons, and years of combat experience. Mm. They also have trauma and stressor disorder, and no idea Couldn't how to conduct have... themselves in an urban civilian environment. Mm. So, what happened? Yeah. The story is, one of them, the colonel... I don't know his real name. Right. He assaulted a local woman. Oh wait, so is this who we separated from his unit? Is this who's in the tree? He allowed some of the more militant union members to subdue him. He was taken out behind the whirling and He's the guy in the tree. Okay. Last Sunday night. Well then. Mr. Clare refuses to let me into the harbor. I have not been able to discuss no. this matter with anyone there. The remaining two Cronell contractors carry out their orders for now. For now. It's a smokescreen. In secret, they are conducting an independent military tribunal into the... Yeah, so they're going to... Once this investigation... Wait, so they already know... Executions will follow. They already know who it is? What is the nature of this so-called investigation? Whether to execute one, some, or all of the Union militants. Yeah. This is definitely, most certainly, not disco. You are absolutely correct. It is very far from disco. My only hope is that you provide a single concrete suspect before the mercenaries indiscriminately pick theirs. Simply put, or we just might we could just not. If you don't pin this on someone good and do it fast, I don't will identify and execute everyone well, present at the lynching. I feel like this in turn will force the union. What I want to do is pin it on someone guilty, you know, not someone good. The debater have over two thousand men. It will be a thousand to one. Mm. Have you ever seen a hornet invade a beehive, Lieutenant? It's not pretty. Sure. The Serai's giant hornet, it's the not, second to be fair. insect, can kill 40 honeybees a minute, while a group of 30 can decimate an entire hive yeah, of 20,000 bees in less than four hours. That is, some of those are These scary, you know. Work in tandem using when you see like those, fully automatic like hornets bodies. and wasps Their and things that can impenetrable destroy even yours most union workers don't have guns at all mm. as i said a bloodbath it's a pretty bleak scenario many bleak scenarios have already come true 
nameless, badgeless detective of the citizens' militia. All uh -huh. you can do is keep the rest from going the same way. Got some experience One there, really. single concrete suspect delivered into civil court, and I may be able to defuse this situation. Um, who was the woman that they assaulted? This is information passed on to me from some teenagers. Loitering was that uh, Kuno? No. I cannot testify by it. What did they say? The man was killed because he assaulted a local. Yeah, I, I got that. I've asked around a bit. This seems to be the accepted story around Martinez. I mean, the lieutenant consults his notebook. His eyebrows did, knitted did they say in that concentration. To me? Odd. We haven't heard any yeah. reports about. Yeah, I was going to say we never heard that. No one told us that. Where did it? But if everyone was anyway. involved. Last Sunday night, at the whirling in rags, the hostel by the gates. So supposedly okay. the colonel was drunk, maybe on narcotics too. Now they're sure that they're not talking about me. Either way, he's alleged to have sexually assaulted a woman. I mean, the, the cop. Sometime later, a group not of me, obviously, got their but hands the, the cop me. that I'm playing as. That's a good question, officer. I don't have the slightest idea. As I said, it's a rumor, about a rumor. Mm -hmm. In any case, it's what the colonel's remaining colleagues believe. Of course. You'll meet her soon enough, you feel. Possibly. Uh, what can tell the colonel? Did you know the colonel? You mean, did I see him alive? <laughs> did yes. I see him alive? That, that's but not really not the question him. I was asking. Lely. His name was? Lely. Okay. Again, yeah, likely. probably not his name. He wouldn't divulge they're supposed to be like deep name. cover. They're not going to tell you their name, are they? Did. A bad sign if there ever was one. Mm. Anything else? He was 40. Or 50. 40 or 50, okay. It's hard to say which. It's he had a narrow, combat injury on his lower narrow. jaw. It made it difficult to estimate his age or gauge his spatial expressions. What else? Nationality? Accent? Yeah. He was uh, Occidental, I think. Light brown hair, a mixed accent. Uh huh. Or a knees. Or. Miss Simeon, maybe. One of those, okay. His injury gave him an accent all his own. In a cool. way, it was humanizing. He had to learn to speak through oh, it. Oh, right, so yeah. Through the injury. That's all I know, I guess. I only met him once. And where are the other mercenaries? They've gone to ground, as it were. I don't recommend seeking them out. Right. For one, they're almost certain. Yeah, we, we certainly deep. couldn't deal with them if they're armed. They don't have the same respect. <laughs> For the Revachol citizens' militia, as I, I don't do. think anyone has respect for the Revachol citizens' militia, to be honest. It certainly Get doesn't seem that way. It will not be a fruitful meeting. I still need to know where they are. I'm likely to run into them eventually. When that happens, I'll be in a better position to mediate if I don't appear involved. Where are the mercenaries? One is obviously the scab leader. Ah, uh, of course, of course. The one chanting the idiot slogans. He's barely maintaining his disguise. Who's the other the one? The other then? has a vantage point in the building south of the roundabout. They were keeping tabs on yes. while you were canvassing the lorry drivers. Must be. One must be the guy by the harbour gate. Maybe so. Yeah. I still hope you heed my advice. So he's There's trying to, to yeah. Hornet's nest. For all your talk because if he can get in, then he can take down the guy. To get his supporter, Keck. Does this not bother you? Of course it bothers me, Lieutenant. But my hands are tied. How would my employer react if it appeared I were no, intervening no, on behalf of the Union? Your concern may be a We could arrest him, though, right? Paris is keeping the peace. Possibly. One's looking over the roundabout. Afford a good vantage point. In yeah, there is no way. There, it's if, if there is someone there, as you say, it's not someone Where we can get to. Where is your radio for contacting them, if I may ask? Do you have an earpiece? Heavens no. I'm not an undercover agent. Mm. Short wave short radio. Wave at the ship's wheel. Ow. Okay. Other questions. I hope I can answer it better. Uh, how much time do we have? The execution starts. Yeah. Truthfully, I don't know. Well, if that gate opens, that's where well, probably about when they start, the isn't it? Lynch mob. And their impatience. Because then he could take down the two leaders of the union. Um, we report their progress to you. At the very least. Not on this matter. Yeah, I'm it's got nothing to do with her. This a personal initiative. Let's go back to the. It's a matter of days, not weeks. Fair enough. That's I enough for now. To have been the bearer of bad news. No worries. If there is anything else I can help you with, please ask. 
No, not right now. Let's get back to our uh, let's get back to our hotel. Is that a hotel? I'm not totally sure. It's a room. That's what it is. And only my room's gonna have. Oh, it's gonna be rubbish. Let's be honest, because it's all smashed up. And we told them to. Uh, I'm not sure it was a good idea, you know, telling telling them to get the money for the damages out of the police. Because now the police are going to know that I trashed a hotel room. <laughs> They're not going to be very happy. Oh, we could. Uh, oh, well, we can do that in the morning. Because at that stage, I'm hoping we might be able to do something to get into the. Uh... What I was going to say is we need this. Uh, I need to put the skill point into Nexus at zero at the moment. I need that. And then what I can do as well is I can take the two things off and that should make it right. Uh, okay, so that's fine. That should make it right. But we haven't found all of this stuff yet, but that just means it's other stuff that we're going to do instead. We need to find a way in the secret passage. Find out who's in the Union box. Call Lazarus. I decided not to do that because that might cause problems. I get a reality load and ask Joyce questions about reality or return. We can ask her again later. Uh, we need to know who made the call. And we need to inspect the victim's body if we ever manage to get the victim down off the uh, off the thing. Uh, so let's just... That's everything we need to do. I need to also unlock these, which I can't do yet. I need to use a skill point to do that. Rigorous self-critique. You're one sorry piece of shit, cop penitent, a flagellant cop monk. This is not the right line of work for you. You should be groveling at the feet of a feudal lord, providing lurid evidence against yourself at a Mazovian show trial, or ripping the flesh from your back with a cat of nine tails. Whatever made you this way, you can be damn sure it was your own fault. Do it. Really criticise yourself. Yeah, I agree. Uh, anyway, um, so it's time for us to... I think retire to our rooms. Yes. Uh, no. We're gonna go upstairs. That's actually a pretty good timing to to finish up for tonight. Once we've done that, good place to finish. At the end of the first day, a day that seems to have gone on for bloody ever. What's that? Right, time to go. This is the door to the room you redecorated. Uh, redecorated. Just a moment. You had some questions earlier, I believe. And besides, we should discuss. Ah, okay, yeah, yeah. Let's go out to the balcony. Fair enough. <laughs> discuss the last information, or the discuss the information we've had brisk. today. The lieutenant is silent for a moment. Yeah. He listens to the traffic hum. And he says, you're an absolute mess! He should. Where shall we begin? We should talk about the investigation. Smoking a cigarette? Foremost. But I also remember you wanting to discuss the RCM. I didn't know you smoked. I have a cigarette every night when I go over my notes. It's something of a ritual. Fair oh, enough. Man. He looks so devastatingly cool with that cigarette. Mm. I might have to pick up that. Do you I have any more? But I only brought one with me. I probably only thought he was going to be here one night, you know? Over my notes. How did you get so cool? You mean this? This isn't cool. It's an unnecessary try with Willie. Yeah, there it is. Is. Keeping the habit within the parameters he's given himself takes a lot of focus. Yeah. It would be easy to simply quit. Yes. It's been a long and even... Well, it has. How do you think it went, pal? Well, you were so hungover that you couldn't yeah, go down when we approached the hangman. Yeah, it's not a great start, to be honest. The, body. the body's been hanging up here for God knows how long. We've not been able to take it and down there's yet. there's still much to do at the crime scene, too. We didn't search it thoroughly enough. Yeah, you're probably right about that as well. He would have put all of this more harshly, but he doesn't want you to feel completely... I'll be in better shape tomorrow, because I'm not going to get absolutely smashed. ...that you'll just give up and keep drinking. Don't worry, I'll be in much better shape. I look forward Tomorrow. to that. As for the interview, we weren't able to find the union leader. No, not yet. We can find him tomorrow, hopefully. Him. 
So that's in the to do list for tomorrow. We interviewed Joyce Miss here. Tomorrow in Oswald the game, obviously, not tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow. None of it very good news for us or Mark. There's a retro stream tomorrow, I think. Yes, it is. Above all, though, today was exhausting. What's with all the. There you go. What's with all the running? Is that a standard Prism 41 practice? Uh, I don't like to waste time, you know. It's impressive, especially for a man your age. And in those, and those shoes that he's wearing, yeah, they're pretty bad. Nice shoes, by the way. I like the green. Goes with the orange. <laughs> this does not go with the orange. <laughs> they're quite limited, actually. Yeah, we don't have much in the way of power. To have a show citizens militia exercise most frequently is imposing fines of up to 1,000 reals. 1,000 reals is a fine. In accordance with the mutual departmental schedule. Okay, wouldn't that be an easy power yes, to abuse? Yes, indirectly, as citizens can always request records from their local station. Of course it can be, but, yeah. Officers of the RCM have been known to take bribes of less than the prescribed fine amount. It undermines trust in the RCM. Hmm. Okay, what else? We can arrest people, of course, but rather than bringing someone in directly, what? it's preferable. You say, oh, come to the police station, please. It prevents confusion and overcrowding. I can be sure that they'll show up. Those who don't show up become fugitives, though, and have fewer legal rights when they are eventually caught. Yeah. It's about power projection. Thus far, they seem to mostly show up. Let's see, if someone resists. We need to use whatever force we deem necessary, even lethal. Fair enough. Have you ever killed anyone? Yes. The last time was four years ago. He says it matter-of-factly. Yeah. Moves on. Not much he can do. Have That's I? An improbability. Perhaps even impossibility. Don't know if I really Christian want to 41 know. 41 is known for higher than average rate of police violence. Yeah, what happens to the people we convict? We don't convict. We, we don't convict. Send them to coalition government. And what do they do to them? Burn, burn them alive or something? The prosecution works off our testimonies. Yeah, they could do. Reports, which is why it's paramount to keep them. Yeah. You have to supply compelling yeah, evidence. You have to give evidence, you but as, as you would obviously think thinking. Of in no. these cases, the apartment is usually your witness. Not a good position to be in, by the way. Yeah. Internal Affairs handles these cases thoroughly by cross examining you for inconsistency. So if you, if you do, if you hard do it wrong, one, if you like, you get in some trouble. The coalition government. The coalition and government make this. Body. Right. The RCM okay. was formed by the coalition government to restore order. International so I get you. The revolution. So we did. Now we attempt to maintain that order. Yeah. No more. No. Or perhaps it is better to say we were allowed to okay. form. It's a point of contention whether the citizens of Revachol or the coalition government formed it. Could be either, say. right? It's probably more honest, yes. Either way, the moral internalist says the right. This has got nothing to do with my case. Speech. The moralist <laughs> international are the world's largest political organization. You know who they are. They have been running this place after the yeah. revolution failed. <laughs> if I didn't know, how would you describe them? Because I don't right know. Parties across the real belt. Our coalition government is just yeah. one of its okay. many projects. They also run the ICP, EPIS, most intergovernmental hmm. organizations in the world. I don't Do care you? about them though. It's an awful we job. Are in what is called the twilight of international law. The twilight of international the laws law. The to enforce come from the MI. Without them, we are simply vigilantes. Maybe we should make Probably our own law. Revolutionary, not a cop. Yeah. But hypothetical aside, I think so. Though. Martinez, we already are vigilantes. At least the union thinks. To so. some extent, I, I expect our yeah. job here to prove quite challenging. Let's just look into the, the night. dying lights of the city shimmer That's below. Right. Just have we lean on the edge. Like luminous clouds, they pass on mm. his lenses. The lieutenant looks at his slim cigarette, contemplating the next drag. This soldier yeah. is the highlight of the day for me. He thinks this little stick right here. Yeah, the yeah I'm sure it does. Overhead, the whiskers of its floodlights on the ground below. Kitsuragi's glasses light up as he looks to the sky. Two oh. glowing circles. They really don't like us here. And the mouse on that kid, Kuno. <laughs> it's different in land, in general. Yeah, I would imagine so. It's our fault for leaving this place to the dogs, to the union, to the company, uh -huh. not daring to come here more often. This place has fallen between the cracks, the jurisdictions of our two precincts. I get you there. We run this city, west we of the river. We run this city. city. We built this city on... It's incredibly hard. 
human beings are. But we are in control, and it's worth it. Uh -huh. Organization works. Our systems work. If they didn't, the city would disintegrate. I hope the investigation will change. Something. But I, I don't think it will. Any drastic changes in our lifetime. No, probably not. Thank yeah, you. It's getting very cold now. Let's go. Let's go. I've got a new skill point, Luke. I gotta spend that. Uh, what did I need to put the skill point into? There was something else. I could put it into endurance again. Or do you know? Maybe I should up the. Am I gonna need the savoir faire to be more than? If it's four. Yeah, we're going to put that up, because if it's that, and then I take off the two items, I mean, he's going to have to do the jump in his pants with no shoes on, um, but hopefully that, that might resolve the problem, and also, he seems like the kind of guy that might just do that, to be honest. <laughs> you know what I mean. He seems like the kind of guy that might just do that. So with that, I'm going to save my game. I can't remember if there's a little like scene here. So I'm going to save my game. I want to save over that. Yeah, I've got the auto saves. I'm going to save my game. And next time round, we'll finish up this little bit and move on to the... In fact, let's go in here. See you in the morning. I'm not going to go to sleep. I'm going to save it again here, actually. If I could, but I can't. No, in fact, let's just do this. The bed is cold and not. Yeah, just go to sleep. For this night, the first night, just go to sleep. The sheets feel at once coarse and clammy against your skin. The bed sags I think there's like a little weight as you stretch out, and then sleep doesn't come. Yeah. Okay. And then sleep doesn't come. Why? Maybe it's we'll go the through best. this first. Check the it's pillow. Synthetic filling has separated into hard lumps. Now that won't be the helpful. The smells oddly. It barely covers your toes. The, the blanket Stretch barely covers my toes. Belly. This is your body here, intimate and warm, breathing under your thrumming eyelids. You I see, see dizzy dizzying colors. colors. You won't mm. know if this carousel quite is a little better. Colors, scenes, and half-formed phrases still litter your mind. Gonna... Part of you is still trying to solve the case, isn't it? No more thoughts, fall asleep. Steadies. A great silence washes over you. Then he's going to have a dream. Twitch in your sleep. I knew there was a sequence like this that we would have to get through before we, could, uh, before we could finish, which is why I thought about saving where I was before. Because now I'm going to have to go through this before I can finish, I think. Alright, pal. Hey, that's me. Born in hospital. Oh, kidding anyone, Harry. You don't remember shit. Tell me, do you remember? Do you remember your wife's hand, hand on your face? Your face? You I'm not know answering. Who I am. He's the bad day. bad day. The one where you ask her, and then later, then later in the streets, wandering. It's the Is that how we're supposed to read everything? Ha everything our character here. says. And it's coming. She will hear about it's coming. It on the phone. Reality so. will turn into a grotesque nightmare. Uh -huh. This will be the last thing you did to her. Tell me, do you remember the love of your So life? is he supposed to be like, you said who? Is that do how he's supposed to speak? remember the warmth of her thigh between her legs and in her mouth. I was That's left. Right, funky baby. Frankie you baby. Just stood there, one hand on the bottle, and the other on your dick, watching her Bullet go. corpse of a drunk. Let it all be dragged away from you. Tell me, hmm. where are your friends? Human beings. Human beings are friends, are Where the hell are yours? I don't want to come back. They were only cramping your descent into the abyss. Now they're gone. And he doesn't, Three does he? Times he's gone in, he's in a downward away. spiral. All of it. You failed. You failed me. You failed Elysium. 
Yeah, what is, what is Elysium? The pile and the Isolas on the surface. Oh. The outer magnetosphere. Excuse me. Burning, furious truth. Eight thousand years of written history. You really dropped the ball, Harry. 4.6 billion mm. people. Failed all of them. Failed every single one of them. You really fucked up. I can come back. Coming back from shit. Thrashing around in it. Mm. High conductivity stuff. Acting like a clown. Bumping into things and acting like a clown. Who are you kidding? I'm trying to solve the case. You're trying to what? Oh. I can't hear you. This is just a word dream now. Jumbled up garbage. My the ancient reptilian gone, brain. The bed rises to meet you. A thin, sleep-like state. It's not a very nice thing to say about my brain. Glass and yes. velvet. Grinding not that old. Your head. So something is wrong. I know. Sleep shouldn't be this bad. This dry. This unnourishing. It's a new type of There's hangover. something wrong with your thoughts. I hope Some not. I hope it's not a new kind of hangover. I really hope not. Oh yes, party boy. Oh yes, party boy. Just think of the shit you saw. No, it's worse. Here it's gonna be so much worse. To... So, soon so much worse. The silent alarm goes off in your head like clockwork. Barely let you sleep at all. Time to Barely let you sleep at all. Time to go to work in the shit Time factory. Time to go to work in the shit factory. Is that... Hmm. I'm surprised he's actually gonna wake up. The state of this guy, man. I'm surprised. Okay. I healed my morale somehow after being told that I was Good shit. going, buddy. Most beautiful dream. Because oh. you feel even worse this morning than you did last night. What's going on? You mean why are you so tired? Because he's not Too actually tired sleeping. And down to even think. It is worrying, isn't it? Detectives need to be able you to think. You can't be a detective like this. Okay. Detectives well, yeah, need to be able to think. That's feel super great. Really true. Your <laughs> heart has finally pumped all the speed out. That's of that's the why, yeah, because he's no longer. Uh... To get some more. Don't do that. Stay strong. The hangover will wear off. You don't need to keep doing. Oh, here you could have gone. You could have gone after. I'm not going to go looking for that. Sure? No. Ready to live as this pathetic shell of yourself for days, basically a week. Let's be honest. Two weeks. Maybe do we have three? You no. Suit yourself. Not going to do it. Slow. Not going to do it. Shell man. I'm going to teach See you. How you do without your spark. Yeah, all right, mate. That's fair. Okay, so now we'll save the game. Makes sense. And then I'm going to finish up for tonight. So uh, thank you very much for watching a bit more Disco Elysium. I uh, hope you've enjoyed the decisions and comments and conversations that we've had in the game. Uh, tomorrow night I'll be playing, uh, as it's as it was a watch party last week, tomorrow night I'll be playing a retro game of some type. I was playing uh, Chrono Trigger, but... Uh, the trouble is that the VODs all come back with no game audio, so I don't know how I feel about that. Um, but, never mind, we will finish up for just now, and I hope I'll see you next time for whatever the game might be. For now, good night.